What's going on with the economy? Are we in a recession, depression, or are things just overhyped? Should I buy? Should I sell? All questions I know you're asking yourself. How can we manage during these uncertain times? Hi everyone, this is The Focus Spender, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you five tips on how to manage your money during these COVID-19 times. But first, if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. My channel is all about getting out of debt, staying out of debt, organizing your finances and increasing your net worth. And if you'd like to find me on social media, you can find me at Focus Spender on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Now let's get started. While the stock market has seemingly made a full recovery, stocks are now back to the levels they were in February. In fact, my stock portfolio now looks like a V-shape. There is still so much uncertainty and 40 million Americans are risking eviction by the end of this year without some sort of stimulus plan. And even if your personal portfolio is doing fine and you're still employed, it's still a scary financial time to live in. For many people, particularly black people in this country, you may feel that added weight of supporting family members that may not be doing as well as you. So their financial instability can have a direct effect on your finances. So what can you do? I gave it some thought and I came up with five things that I think you can do to help manage your finances during these times. They may not all apply to your situation, but most will. So tip number one is to create an emergency budget. I work with various organizations in my day job with nonprofit leaders and school principals. And what we've been doing over the last few months has been to create various versions of their budget for the next fiscal year. So we will create a best case scenario budget and a worst case scenario budget. So for them in years past, their revenue has been pretty much stable. You know you're gonna get certain government grants, you know certain foundations are gonna donate to you. But this year, we literally have no idea what is gonna happen. So what we had to do was say, okay, if everything remains the same and we get all the money that we expect, this is our budget. And if things go south, this is what our budget will look like and this is how we will pivot immediately. And I think you should be doing the same thing for yourself. So look at your current budget and start thinking of the things that you can start to reduce in spending. And if things go south, like either you get your hours cut at work, you're furloughed, or unfortunately you lose your job, you know the things you need to cut immediately until you're able to get back on your feet. Even if you do get unemployment, if you're one of those people where unemployment is not matching your salary, then you'll need to figure out what you need to do to reduce your expenses very quickly. Be sure to check the description box below. I will leave a link to my 12 month budget and cash flow that is super simple to use that will allow you to create a budget and show how it's going to flow over the next 12 months. So my second tip is to organize your paperwork. And I know that probably sounds completely unsexy, but it's extremely important. So the reason why this is a tip is because there's so many different things that are coming out right now, such as rental assistance, whether it's long-term, short-term, or other opportunities that are arising that require really, really fast turnaround time. So you wanna make sure you have all of your important papers easily accessible if one of these opportunities arise. So I'm thinking of people who I know who have had the opportunity to apply for different long-term and short-term rental assistance. And when the opportunities came around, it literally was, here's the application, get it back to us in two days, and you need to submit all of this documentation. Now, if you're young like me, you may say, well, this is easy. I can just literally go on my computer, I can download whatever, and I can submit it. But let's say you have to help your mom or your grandma or someone in your family that might be a little bit older. This is a really good time to also help them get organized. I think about my mom. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna see this, but I think about whenever my mom is like, oh, I'm having trouble getting into this website. And it'll be a website that I have no idea she has an account for. And I say, okay, ma, what is your username and password? And then she looks at me like, you don't know it? How would I know your username and password? So right now you wanna help yourself and other people in your family get their paperwork, their online stuff all in a row so that when opportunities arise, they can jump on it. So my third tip is particularly for homeowners and that is to look into refinancing your home. I was reading online yesterday and they said that interest rates have hit their eighth record low for the year. They're about 2.88% for homes, so this is a great time to refinance. In fact, the Mortgage Bankers Association said that refinance applications are up 84%. So I'm assuming that if you own a home, this is something that you've already looked into, but if it's not, 
consider it because if your budget is already stretched too thin, a lower home payment might be the relief that you're looking for. But also consider the fact that this might extend the life of your loan or lead to an enlarged loan balance. So definitely do your homework before you um, make your final decision. So my fourth tip is to start a side hustle. Whether you're employed, unemployed, underemployed, you really wanna make sure that you have multiple streams of income. I think about the fact that I really wish I took my sewing lessons with my grandmother way more seriously because if I had, I swear I would be making masks that all said focus spender and I would be selling it on my site right now. But unfortunately, sewing did not come naturally to me so I just said forget it. But there's so many other things that you can be doing. The key is that you wanna find a side hustle that fits the moment that we're living in. So I have a friend, she's a chef, and she, obviously she's not making the same type of income. So she started a virtual summer cooking camp for kids. My dad is a teacher and he normally also does private tutoring on the side in math. And so the other day I was talking to him and as soon as I got off the phone, I was like, oh, he needs to start tutoring online through Zoom, whatever he needs to do to bring in additional revenue. So re really be creative and start thinking about what you can do to bring in extra money. Now more than ever, unless you are a doctor or a nurse, your job is really not secure. So you wanna make sure that you're always finding additional ways to bring in revenue. And finally, my last tip, tip number five, is to save, 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 save. So I know that we can't all just stop spending money because that will kill the economy. So I'm not suggesting that, even though I think if you are gonna be spending money, I would love to see that you're spending money with you know, a local small business that may have not received the PPP, Payroll Protection Program loan, and struggling right now. So think about spending money in your local community with small businesses. But other than that, this is a time that if you have not been putting money aside, you really need to be doing that. So if you had a six month emergency fund in the past and you're still working and nothing has changed, make it a nine month, make it a 12 month. You just don't know. There's so many people in this country right now that are making that tough decision between, do I pay my rent? Do I, do I buy groceries? What do I do next? And with that emergency fund, at least with a healthy emergency fund, at least you'll be able to prolong that question if something goes wrong. I wish I could have more insight on what I think is gonna happen next in our economy, but there's literally nothing I can do to predict. At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if Kanye West was our president next year, though I hope not. So all I can suggest is that you manage what you control, even if it doesn't feel like much. I hope you liked this video. Be sure to click thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave me a comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye-bye.